week 21 holla here is 21 that go uh, that's going by so 21 that's not even like four or seven or eight it's 21 it's 21 weeks later we're holla heroes 10 year anniversary um week 21 we got the live by barry king mimi mimi and uh Chakram Densa Belita, okay? I'm not going to talk about the normal elementals. I always talk about the LDs. If you want to go with the normal elementals, that means you know what you're doing, so go for it. But the LDs are more valuable in, we, uh, in terms of more rarity, Pokédex, etc. Um, and yeah, so what we're going to do today is we're going to see what both units do. And then I'm going to test them out fully skilled and ruined on my main account to get a feel of which one is the better one they're both evenly good at the moment without me going into the match like if i had to choose between these two i couldn't choose so i'm gonna play with them and then maybe at the end i have a choice but it at least helps you choose on what what you want and i have both of these units i've used both of these units in the past um but yeah okay so let's have a quick look at mimi mimir mimir uh, his skills. Skill 1. Attacks the enemy with an axe to inflict continuous damage for 2 turns. Continuous Inflict 2 continuous damage effects for 1 turn with a 50% chance. Sorry. I was just saying things and I wasn't reading, okay? Uh, max skilled over here. And then skill 2. Attacks an enemy with a uh, Raffle Axe? Is that what it's called? Raffle Axe? Bro, how shiny is my head over here, bro? And it's the light. It doesn't help. Rifle Axe, leaving a branding effect for two turns and increasing the attack bar by 50%. So, okay, that's good. So you can get more turns. The, ta uh, the target with the branding effect will receive 25% increased damage. That's what branding effect does. Uh, Confine, which is skill three, attacks the enemy target, stunning it for two turns and depleting its attack bar and goes under Berserk state for three turns afterwards. Under Berserk state, the da defense is decreased by 30%. Damage dealt to enemies is increased by 100%. Your attack speed is increased by 20%. And HP recovered by 10% of the damage dealt. <coughs> I can't read, man. Anyways, yeah. So, that is... I'm, I still find that very weird. It used to be HP decrease. Now it's defense decrease. So, I don't know why they did that. They could have done nothing and it would have been the same, right? It's just a little bit harder to ruin now. Because you will need some defense. Because 70%... Oh, 30% of your defense goes... And he has a guild content speed lead of 24. Right? Straight away thinking Siege meta. Uh, maybe in the future, maybe in the past. At the moment, no. Uh, you can always have a look where they use the most. And they can be used in like... He's used in World Guild Battle. So I'm going to copy one of those teams. But he's also, I think, good in... Um, the Dark Beast. And the Light Beast, I think. He, he does like skill 2 which does good damage for branding, but not necessarily. Okay, and stats, Violent Wheel, Violent Blade, Swift Blade, but that's early game. You want him on Violent, because you deplete an attack bar, your attack bar, you get an increase here, you get another turn. So the way I've ruined mine is just a speed, crit damage, defense. I had to go defense. I went for some crit damage. I went for some crit rate. And uh, I don't know if I was going to bring attack buff with him, but I don't think I am. But we'll see. When he goes into Berserk mode, he has a lot of attack. So you don't actually necessarily need attack buff, okay? And now going to Belita, which is the Dark Chakram Dancer. Okay. Crescent Moon Slash attacks the enemy two times to inflict damage that increases as the enemy HP decreases. Okay, that's in, in, that's actually nice. Additionally, if there's so you can build it a little bit tanky, maybe if there's a boomerang warrior included in the ally team, one of your chakram dancers will attack together with boomerang warrior during boomerang's turn. Very nice. Okay, skill two removes all half effects. Have I've experienced this firsthand long, long ago. Okay, and if you know, you know about my siege battles. Remove all half effects granted on yourself. Oh, sorry. I'm just laughing with myself. Uh, granted on yourself increases your attack power for two turns. Instantly gains another turn after using this. So self-cleanse, attack buff, and then has another turn, which goes into skill three. Moonlight blow attacks an enemy target two times to replace all target beneficial effects with continuous damage effect. Additionally, decreases the hate enemy, uh, enemy's HP by 5% each according to the number of continuous damage effects granted on the target afterwards the boomerang warrior will inflict continuous damage on the enemy for one turn when they attack together and this goes down to four turn cooldown with skill ups 
but don't forget you get an extra turn here so it's basically like a three turn cooldown ish and this one is a three turn cooldown but two turn cooldown because you take a turn straight away okay so this she used to be great against Vigo, okay? Vigo is not siege defense meta, but he was for a very, very long time. She's also great for Rift Beast. I know that. Like, I'm going to try her out in World Guild Battle. She's, you can try her. She's good for World Rift Beast, so she does good damage here. But with the light one, you just want single target good damage. And then you want the multi hits for the dark one, which she can work there. And especially teaming up with the twins. So, yeah, that's that. Um... So let's go and test them out in World Guild Battle. Today's World Guild Battle. Um, I'm just testing them out in World Guild Battle to get a feel. So if anyone else says in the comments, oh, but they're only good in Rifts, then why are you testing them out in World Guild Battle? We're getting a feel for the monster, okay? I don't play other content of the game. This is it, okay? You don't like it? Anyways, let's find the defense and draft up with the two Hall of Hero units and get a feel for them. So let's go. All right, here we are. So the reason I bring Belita here is because we got um we have better that does anti crit and immunity. So I was thinking we'd just go for that um strip into dots. But I'm do I want to you know what I want to strip Roid and then my Shiner follows up and stuns everyone. Right? Let's try that. Turns it into dots. It turned one thing into a dot. That's fine. And then stun everyone. Nah, then a stun Karkana, which was the most important one. This one is self-cleanse, attack buff, and then boom, attacks with someone. Oh, ho, ho, that's so good. And then also attack buff, cleanse. I do want to know about Zaboli, Z Zenobula. Z what's her name? What the fuck's her name? <laughs> what is her name? Zenobia. <laughs> Zenobia. Zenobia will attack onto the fire unit. I don't think that's a great idea. Let's just go for the roids right now. Um, yep, go for the roid again. Okay, I won this with additional damage. She's 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 actually good, man. She's actually good. But in the um, Vigo meta, when there was a better meta, which there never was. But she does strip, turn into doors. She's great for Rift Beast, teaming up with the twins. The light one, the dark one, etc. So let's go on to the next fight. Okay. I was expecting something like this. The reason I bring Orion and Roid. Roid will control Triana, so she doesn't cleanse too much. Or we can uh, control um, Martina. I don't have heals here. I'm hoping Orion's violent procs will save me somehow. But <laughs> this looks like a good defense. I could have just listened this. Oh, we got nothing. I have good accuracy as well. So let's deplete Triana's attack bar. Okay, we got that. We got the stun as well. We're going to berserk mode and now we die. Now we die, bro. Now they're going to target me. Martina's going to target me and he's dead. He's dead. See, that wasn't a good idea to bring him here. Lucky there's two swords for every world guild battle. Can I clutch this? We didn't get much action from him this time. All right, let's go and drop. Oh, I feel like I can beat this. Okay, never mind. I don't think we can beat this. Let's. I think we can beat this. Can we beat this? Bro, proc and I win. I mean, like proc again and I win. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go and to the next one. All right. <laughs> Took me ages to get here. You guys have no clue. I got stuck in a ballback fight with Louise, Invincibility, Camille. Ah, anyways, I'm. That was like ten minutes ago. All right. We got the twins. I brought them. I brought Mimi into the twins before. I don't think that was a great idea. So I'm trying the twins onto the t twins. I guess. So what do we want to do here? Do we want to strip? Martina's will turn it into a dot beautiful and then Shiner follows up with some stuns bro how did I get no stuns anywhere how did I get no stuns anywhere just because I'm recording that is pretty good damage on the whole damn this is terrible oh wow of course just knowing my luck bro knowing my luck this hasn't been great. Belita showcase hasn't been great. Mimi showcase. I changed my Orion to Swift so I can take the first turn, but it seems Esha was faster. But thankfully, he derped. I'm actually going to go and Clara my stun. So I'm going to go for Clara first. Okay. And then if I get a Violent Proc, which I didn't, Provoke. No Provoke. Okay. Chill, Daddy. Then he, Mimi has minus damage dark. As long as he's not stunned. Tap, proc. 
Oh, oh, okay, okay. You want to play this game? One shot it. Oh, so close. 29k. 29k. Let's get rid of this guy now. Provoke Esha so he hits Roids. And then skill one. Boom. That's nice damage. I, I would say they are both. Bro, how is a violent? Oh, no, he's not violent. He's not violent. I'm going to skill two here for branding. And then skill three for damage. And then I'm going to violent proc into skill one. No, I didn't. And then Orion defense break. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, it's it's a hard choice between the two because I'm still indecisive. I lost three. I lost three. <laughs> I lost three. I told you it took me a long time to get there. Okay. Uh, I lost three, but I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of? I couldn't find the defense to use those. Use those. Um offenses on but like what do you think of like Mimir and Mimir Mimir and Belito how about we try that no that doesn't work <laughs> how about we try this no it doesn't work okay that's that um out of the two I'd go with him because he has a speed leader for offenses because you can go like you can go like this so if you like late game, late late game. If you like, if you are like late game or something, you can go something like this, right? If you're early game, you need Belita for twins combo for the Rift Dungeons. Uh, yeah, he's a little bit more usable than the twin. Okay, he's a little bit more usable. That's my opinion. You guys think of how you want it. It wasn't the showcase. <laughs> well, Guild Battle wasn't that great. Okay, thanks for watching. Yellow bye.